How can your bits hang out? Oh, You're a female. They're tucked in. I went by the side of the bed. Well, they were last time I looked. And the dressing gown opened up. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently it's rude to start vlogging without your wife being in the same area. Um, a me bloopers. I don't, I don't do bloopers. Ooh. Did you have that camera on me then? Might have done. Your bits were hanging out. How can your bits hang out? Oh, You're a female, they're tucked in. I went by the side of the bed. Well, they were last time I looked. Oh dear. Anyway, we are away at Long Meadow. Verwood. Long Meadow? West Moors, between West Moors and Verwood. Um, a CL, so a caravan and motor club site. So like, £15 a night, isn't it? Called Long Meadow. As she keeps saying. <coughs> um, Fifteen pounds a night. Although electric hookup. With electric hookup. With nice long grass. Because they're not well broke. Didn't it? All the grass was too wet. Mm, that's all over. I think he might be going. I think he's, I think he's going to work today. Hey, all of us. Yeah. Is he off? Is he? Is he up? Uh, I saw. Well, I've seen him up, yeah. Um, yeah, he said he's got to go work today, yeah, didn't he? he did. Big busy bank holiday weekend. Yeah, he's Hopefully. got he's got a caravan hand over today. Has he? Yeah. I, I suspect he'll sell a few this weekend. Because it's getting near the weather, isn't it? For well, him? I'd like to go to that place at St Leonard's today. What, uh, which one? The, near the... Oak Dean. Near that, where there's, they got their camping stuff. Yeah, okay. I'd like to have a little pop out there. Yeah, okay. Um, Anyway, so this ain't, that ain't getting this bloody vlog done, is it? Um, we'll do a walk around of the site. It's not much of a site to walk around. Um, we had issues yesterday when one of our party turned up in their motorhome and it got stuck. <laughs> and of course, where we've had motorhomes and we got stuck, it's funny for us now, um, when we had motorhomes and we got stuck, of the two times we got stuck in mud, don't, it's not funny. Don't. Hold on. It's not funny. Hold on. What? The only reason he's telling this is because he got to drive the motorhome yesterday. <laughs> Not even his motorhome. So we. And he got stuck in one, the mud. One of it. Got people and every every day. He hasn't fixed his blind. I haven't fixed the blind yet. I will do. Oh my god! There's food out there. Yeah, I know. That's gonna be soggy. Those pop dons. Well, that's right. Well, we'll stick them in the microwave. They'll warm up. Um. Yeah, so anybody who's got stuck in, in the mud in Motown is um is very, very, very stressful. It's horrible. You um, weren't stressed at all. There right, he was. listen. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up, Kim. So like I said, when the two times we got stuck in our motorhome, it's horrible. But yeah. this yesterday wasn't so horrible because it wasn't us. Yeah, it's was <laughs> um, somebody else's motorhome so, that's stuck in the mud. So the person whose motorhome it was said that they weren't gonna drive it to get it out. Um one of our other friends here that, that towed the motorhome out. I had to sit in the motorhome and Kim's going, anything for you to sit in a bloody motorhome? <laughs> He's having a right, a right drip. Um, so yeah, we, we got it out of the first bit that she got hogged into. And I drove it in and I went to reverse into the pitch and then I got bogged in <laughs> another soft bit of land. And Kim said, whatever made you think that you had to reverse it in? I said, because if you drive it in, you won't be able to tow it out later. But you could have turned it round if it was firm. But what know? if it got stuck going in? <coughs> there was no room for you to get that motor room out then. Nothing at all. She did not listen to me. She just doesn't understand. Come on, look at the motor room that you drove and got stuck in the mud. Look at the state of the tyres on that. Yeah. And you washed it off. Yeah, but I said, I got most of it off. I just let it let it dry off and then just brush off, on it? Yeah. I'll clean the wheels. But there's the... Uh, you well, that's where we got stuck and we had to get towed back that way. And there's a very, very narrow 
very very narrow path there too. You got more? Yeah. Yeah, I've got plenty of coffee, thanks. Oh, yeah. You've got more hot chocolate as well? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Don't need anything else. So yeah, we thought we'd better vlog this one going away. This one might go out, I think, probably before the cleaning one, which is the one before going away, if I do the cleaning one. Yeah. I will do the cleaning one. Um, yeah, we or I might just get them both done and poke them both out. <coughs> anyway, I don't cheers. For our channel. Happy bank holiday. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I was going to point. How's my eyes looking today? Because I might need to point out to people not, what happened. Not too bad. <coughs> I don't know if you can see me. No. Can I see me? No, because the camera will only look at what it's looking at. <coughs> Is it looking at you? Put it on me. No, you might offend the camera. <coughs> Put it on me. No, you you may offend it. I won't offend it. Okay. Viewer discretion advised. Kim had if plastic surgery. No, I haven't had plastic <laughs> surgery. Oh no, she didn't. She had tarmac surgery. Go on, yeah. I'll let you. I'll let you. Yeah. I'll let you record me, and then you can crack on. Right. So I don't know if you can see. I have a lesson for <laughs> yeah, ladies you, you or men that carry a handbag, or anybody that carries a handbag. So basically, what happened? I don't Did know if you, you could see. Men? Yeah, men carry man bags, don't they? You said handbag. Anybody that carries a handbag, man bag, lady bag. Well, yeah, I suppose I could carry your handbag, couldn't I? So what happened was, Never. I was in my daughter's car last Friday. And today is Saturday. The doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It was a week ago. Um, and I didn't realise I put my handbag in oh. the football like you do, um, and I had to go and post an invitation for a door for my daughter's wedding reception. What are you looking? <clears throat> I'm looking out the window. Look at the Sorry. Um, <laughs> and uh, I didn't realise that my handbag strap had got wrapped around my ankle. So. So. Went to get out the car and face patted the floor with my nose. And consequently, this is what I've ended up with. Two black eyes. My nose isn't broken. It's still quite painful to touch. My nose isn't broken. But yeah, this is what I've ended up with. Although this is a lot better. I was swollen, I had really black eyes. I'm going to go and have a look now because I haven't looked this morning and see what they look like. Oh, it's a I think it's looking better. Well, of course it's looking better. It's not going to get worse. Well, it, it would have got worse, no. but it, it did get worse. It did get worse, but yeah, so this is it. So if I have a lesson for you now, try not to put your handbag in the footwell. That's what I've been doing now, putting it in the back of the car because I'm paranoid. Anyway, that's my story. What's yours? Kim's top tip. Top tip Saturday. Yeah. Top tips? Anyway. Um, yes. Got clear up, oh, no, I'll, I'll clear up. I don't. Yeah. I looked at, um, when we went to that camping shop yesterday, what was that the name of that garden centre we went to yesterday? I don't know. We should have vlogged going around there. Um, I looked at their coffee tables. They were really quite low though. Twenty two pounds. That's not bad. Ninety nine. That's not bad. I wanted one a bit higher. Well, this was don't like get a it. lap tray. <coughs> don't get it. Yeah, I might have a look if we're going to. Are you going into pool or not, or are you going? Because they're all just. Well, not going about to... going to pool, so it doesn't bother me. You said you didn't want to go. I'm not bothered about going to pool. I was going to let you lot go. And Kim said she wasn't going to go to pool. She's going to stay with the doggies. Um, but I don't mind like taking you. the dogs. No, I'm not going to take dogs into pool. Kim's not taking the dogs in the pool, so... Well, it looks like you're staying here, then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't well, we'll know see, we'll see, we'll that see. camping We'll just see what happens. No, I'd like to go to St. Leonard's anyway. Yeah. I don't really want to take them into pool. It's too much. It's too busy in there. All right. Calm down. <clears throat> yeah. OK. And they're probably going to go shopping Primark and Primark and things like that. You don't want to go to Primark? No. No. Oh. I don't need anything. OK. Right, we're gonna get. I don't know what we're gonna get. We got. I got. What time I got a is crack it? on. It's I'm gonna get. To I'll, to I'll see dogs. if I can get the drone up. Oh no, it's not too early to feed the dogs. Because it's a nice morning. Um, and I'll, see, I'll see what see what shots I can get, and I'll I'll video coming down um, through. Can I just say it's gonna be a high pollen forecast today. And Birch pollen. What does that mean? Near end of season, oak pollen is on the rise. What are you telling me? Grass pollen, fungal spores. Plus Pleospora, Aspergillus, and Penicillium. Aspergillus? Aspergillus. Oh my god. That's horrible, that is. It, I don't like the um, 
rape when the rapes in the fields. That okay, why are you telling out. me this? I don't know, just in case. You... I'm not allergic to any of it. You're allergic to something. You. Yeah. You were allergic to me last night. <clears throat> you annoy me. That's like me sleep on the settee. <laughs> Vino one collapso. Too, one, too many, one too many glasses of wine. <laughs> anyway, right. See you in a bit. So we are at, as we said earlier, Long Meadow. It's the entrance road. We're coming from that way. There's a sign, you turn in here. The gate has got a padlock on it, so you've got an access number to get in. And you drive through. It's got a nice big garden furniture. nice and quiet it's peaceful pretty much that's all you need isn't it at night time you hear nothing but there's a there's a little stream a little stream that runs down the side here it runs down the back of all the caravans quite rural you could almost say very basic Got somewhere here to do your chemical disposal. Your recycling goes here. They're dealing with getting some showers sorted here with the new build. Um, somewhere to sit and relax if you want. So as you come down through. So here we go, this is the beginning of where the pitches are. It is a five five pitch CL, but there is provision by the looks of it for more electric hookups you got. <coughs> one being used here by the owner. But you've basically got one, two, three, four, five electric points there. And you could have stuff here, and this bit here is a bit soft. There's our motorhome friend found yesterday so we've got a toad off of there um, yeah um, this bit here is firm it's, it's all hardcore under the under this bit of grass um, so you won't be sinking in here but yeah that bit there was soft we've come down through You got a little narrow restriction here, so if you do get stuck, don't get stuck here. Because <laughs> unless you've got something at this side to tell you out, you will get stuck. Although the owners have got, apparently have got a tractor and a 4x4, which will, uh, which will help. Um, sorry, there was water here. Um, and they got hand sanitization points still. Um, there's Mr. Oliver. So yeah, there's your water point. Double electric socket here. And that's where you, you bury your motor home. <laughs> Not at all stressful. Our van. Uh, I think there's the double electric down here. Where our other friends are. Fred Caravanian's home of the original hole blocker. <laughs> and uh so the back of our van, a bit damp underfoot, but that'll be alright. So here's the back of our van. Nice those cows out in the field yesterday, walking around. Lovely looking cows they were. Nice coos. It just meanders around, around behind the site. And if you can hear that, that's all we could hear this morning, last night. Obviously the birds go to sleep, so they're not so vocal at night time. Um, but yeah, so it's just so peaceful and dark. Oh, the sky last night. 
nice clear sky beautiful absolutely lovely um, owners here leave you alone we haven't paid yet it's £15 a night we're going to pay obviously um, yeah it's really nice nice just to get away it's nice to get away the grass is a bit long because his lawnmower broke so you couldn't get out and mow the lawn which isn't too bad because you just end up walking grass into your van so uh, yeah we like it it's nice it's quiet cheap electric water pitch just a little bit soft there like I said, it's stressful when it's your motor home and you get bogged in. It's just horrible. So I did feel for her yesterday when she got stuck the first time and I got her stuck the second time. <laughs> Not funny, but it really wasn't. <coughs> Hi, Oakley. It's Mrs. T. Yeah, I'm okay. Good. Oh, it's a bin in there. Yeah, the bin's out here. There you go. God, man's work's never done. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had my breakfast yet. She'll get that in a minute. Uh, right, so that's Long Meadow CL. Um, in between Westmores, if it's not in Westmores, it might be in Westmores. Um, between Westmores and Verwood in Dorset. Hope you have a great time wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you again. Enjoy for now. Bye.